In example one, to solve for x, let's first add 3x to both sides. We then get 5x plus 5 equals 20. The next step is to subtract 5 from both sides. We get 5x equals 15. Then if we divide both sides by 5, we end up with x equals 3. I'm going to go ahead and number each statement, each form of our equation. And now, I want you to try this. For each numbered line, try to justify why that line is true. When you're ready, resume the video and see the solution. Our first line is true because it was given to us. And you'll notice this, that as we justify steps, the first line is almost always a given. The second line is true because of the addition property of equality. We were able to add 3x to both sides. The third statement is true because of the subtraction property of equality we were able to subtract 5 from both sides. And the last line is true because of the division property of equality. Hopefully you got those. If not, go back and review. Make sure that each statement and each reason makes sense to you. This is a good time to make sure that you have a list, either digital or hard copy, that is readily available and contains some important definitions, properties, postulates, and theorems. We'll use this list as reasons or justifications throughout the course. Here are some properties that you now have. You already have these five properties of equality, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, substitution. Here are some other justification, justifications or reasons that you should add to your list. A given. A given is a statement that the problem has already set us up with, that they had gave to us. Simplify is another common reason. For example, going from x equals 10 plus 5 to x equals 15, we simplified. The distributive property, which tells, allows me to go from 2 times x plus 10 to 2x plus 20. All of those you should already be familiar with, not necessarily by name, but that you've used those properties before. I want to look in particular at these three properties, the reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Make sure that you take notes on these in your notes. First, the reflexive property. The reflexive property, I want you to think of a reflection or a mirror. What the reflexive property does is it tells me that a number will equal itself. So a equals a, 6 equals 6, the length of ab equals the length of ab, the measure of angle a equals the measure of angle a, and so on and so forth. The symmetric property. For this one, you should think about symmetry. What this tells me is that if A equals B, then B equals A. If X equals 3, then 3 equals X. If AB equals CD, then CD equals AB. If measure of angle X equals the measure of angle Y, then the measure of angle Y equals the measure of angle X. For the last property, the transitive property, I'll cover that at the beginning of the next video.